So we are here at B Sigma Americas with Chris Strichbosch, um, Head of Business Development for Nanocosmos. So Chris, tell us, how does it feel to be in such an event um, so important here for the LATAM industry of iGaming? Well, thank you very much for uh, your introduction and for being here. Let me start with a little description of what we do here and what we're showing. Um, Nanostream Cloud, our product, our service, is delivering an ultra-low latency live video stream from a camera to a player. So uh, the goal that we have, what we do, is to deliver the audio video stream as fast as we can around the globe on any device and any browser. So now coming to your question to what do we do here? As you can understand, we're trying to do the same thing here in, let's say, LATAM. Our goal is to find partners here and to work with partners to deliver live streams for their live casinos or other types of you know, interactive or monetized content. That's why we're here in Brazil. That's why we're here at the show. Okay. And that includes sports betting products also? Well, that's, that's a very good point. Sports betting, there is something interesting going on where we can play a role, is that in the sports betting world, there is a new phenomena called fast betting. So you have sports content that is chucked up into smaller pieces and people make a casino experience of it. It's called fast betting. This is something that I'm also very interested here to learn in Brazil at this show of the, let's say, the momentum of that idea of that new phenomenon. Yeah, of course. Speaking of that momentum of the Brazilian industry, well, as everyone knows, Brazil, Brazilian industry is on the verge of regulation. So how do you see a future here in Brazil regarding that um, upcoming regulation? Okay, the regulation is something that takes time. And for us, it's always very important to be on time. So what does that mean being on time? On time means that we might be a little bit too early, but we want to be there so that when the market develops and grows and you know the legislation is approved is that the people who are the players in this market or international companies as we do global business the international companies can easily and quickly go into the Brazilian and the Lata market so we're extremely excited about being here in Brazil and with the upcoming you know developments that are ongoing yeah and as we were discussing earlier, Brazil is a good um, way of entering the Latin market, isn't it? Well, I would say more than entering or just entering the market. For us, already some time ago, we, uh, we decided strategically that Brazil was going to be one of our important hubs in South America. And then especially Sao Paulo was for us and is for us a very important hub and why do I say that there is a combination of two things number one with regards to the servers that we need as a data center but also with regards to local support for the Lata market so we invested in human resources in LATAM already that we have in place to serve you know the South American market with Portuguese and Spanish so we you know, our full balls in. Wonderful. So, thank you for your time, Chris. It was wonderful having a chat with you. So, very much appreciated, and thank you for having me. Uh, see you next thank time. You. See you.